Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd. It's incredibly important for us to always remind ourselves and remind others to speak with the knowledge. That we should strive our best, and this is an Islamic principle, to not speak if you don't have the knowledge to, to, to do so. And for those people who are calling others to Islam and in reminding their brothers and sisters in Islam, the du'at, that we should always do our best to stay within our limits, to know our level of knowledge. If we don't have the ability to deal with certain issues, don't deal with them. Refer it back to, As Allah Ta'ala says, that ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. Imam Buh uh, Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala has a uh, chapter entitled Bab, uh, Bab al-ilm qabla al-quli wal amal The chapter entitled Knowledge Precedes uh, Action and Speaking Meaning that don't speak without knowledge And then the first thing he put in that chapter He put the ayat in the Quran where Allah Tabarak ta'ala says فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَى اللَّهُ وَاسْتَقْفِرْ لِذِنْبِكْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says then know. So Allah has ordered you with knowledge. Know. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهُ That he, that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, and seek forgiveness. It's imperative for us to reflect and ponder upon that. That we should not speak unless we have the ability to do so. You know about issues in in the religion of Islam. We're not talking about politics, giving your opinion, because Islam is not based upon our whims and our opinions. But in fact, it's based upon the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the faham or the understanding of the Salaf al-Sari, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. And so we should strive our best to attain Islamic knowledge and correct and sound Islamic knowledge at the feet of the scholars, because they are the warath al anbiya, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. And when Allah favors a person with something of knowledge, that is a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that person. Call us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man yiradullahu bihi khayran yufaqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. And we ask that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala blesses us all with understanding of His religion. Ameen. And there's immense wisdom in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we should strive to attain knowledge and that if we're blessed with knowledge, this is a sign of, uh, of goodness. And we have to practice that knowledge. And as evidence that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that, this is, that that's the, the strongest path that we could be on, one of the best paths, one of the best deeds we can be on, is seeking knowledge. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيقًا يَلْتَلْمِسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ سَحَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ طَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ That whoever traverses the path of knowledge مَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيقًا يَلْتَلْمِسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ That whoever uh, seeks knowledge then Allah will make easy for him the path of paradise. So the Salaf used to refer to the student of knowledge or seeking knowledge. He said, Talib al -ilm. They used to say, Talib al-Ilm, Talib al-Jannah. That seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. So we have to have sincerity. And with that sincerity, we should be cautious in speaking about those affairs we have no knowledge about. And this is what we find all throughout the internet especially. It's an incredibly dangerous thing. And we see the mistakes from some of our brothers and sisters who are active in Dawah. Some people, they're very good at call calling non-Muslims to Islam and they have, they're very strong in this. But they maybe sometimes have some issues, they mistakes in Aqidah, so they need to correct those things. Or they speak about things they, they shouldn't, I, I've listened to certain individuals uh, amongst the English speakers who are very good in calling non-Muslims. And many people have become Muslim at their hands and may Allah bless them for that. And they will be rewarded by the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. However, they should stop within that ability because I've also, the only few times I've listened to certain individuals like that, I, I, I've 
you know, as soon as you open up the thing, you hear things that you're uneasy with, especially if you've had the opportunity to do some studying with the scholars. Then you sometimes you hear strange statements that these people, they make fatawa like it's as if they're drinking water or drinking milk, which is incredibly dangerous. The Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, who were who the ulama, the jibal. They, you know, they were the mountains of knowledge and they were the Salaf al-Saleh and they're the Jama'ah, they're Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah, they're the main Jama'ah, they're the Salaf radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and they were the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and they were fearful of making fatawa. They didn't just lightly take those issues, they were so scared. There's a, a narration I read where 70 of the Sahaba were asked and each one would say was fearful of uh, answering the question, it went around all the way until it came back to the original person who was asked, meaning that they all feared Allah and they didn't want to make a mistake in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen. Even if they probably knew the answer, they could deal with it because they were Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they were the best of this ummah, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. So, this is an incredibly important lesson for us to not speak without knowledge, not write comments without knowledge, not uh, you know, not to, to be cautious in our actions without knowledge, that we have to strive our best to seek knowledge, Islamic knowledge, sound Islamic knowledge, based on Kitabillah, Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because we see Kathrata Akhta, we see many, many mistakes from some of our brothers and sisters and some of the people of Ahl Bidah, they make so many mistakes. It's like a person who is, uh, like we used to watch the cartoons, a person who drinks the water and they've been shot with buckshot and the water just spills out of them. It's spewing out garbage. You know, it's not holding any substance. Why? Because they're speaking without knowledge. They're speaking without knowledge, either they're not practicing or they're speaking without knowledge and they're making so many mistakes, they're doing more harm than they're doing good. And the, the scholars have written extensively about this, Ibn al-Qayyum especially. And of course, there's many statements of the Salaf in regards to this, of being very cautious uh, and limiting yourself and, and not being of those people who yufsid akthur min ma yuslih. You know, the person who, who uh, makes more mistakes and causes more harms than they do good. And this is the person who's half-baked in their knowledge. They have some knowledge, but they have many mistakes. It would be better uh, to speak little and, 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 and restrain oneself. So this is incredibly important to avoid. And, and Allah Taala warns us in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah when Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا قَالُوا uh, Allah Taala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, which means, and may Allah forgive me for making a mistake in the ayat, but Allah was talking about the munafikeen, those hypocrites. So this is also a characteristic of the hypocrites to speak, of course, without knowledge and then, uh, of course, not practicing that and not believing in what you're speaking about. And Allah speaks about those people that if it is said to them, do not cause fitna in the land, they say, no, verily we're the muslihun, we're, we're the ones who rectify situations. But in fact, and, and as Allah says, Ala innuhum humum mufsidun wa lakin la yash'arun. Verily that they are the ones who spread evil throughout the earth, but they don't recognize it. They don't, they're not aware of it. They don't, they, it's as if they don't have knowledge of it. So this is incredibly important. We want to be the muslihun, those people who speak with knowledge and act upon that knowledge. And may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings and bless us with khair. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.